Good morning, world. It is 12.38 a.m. 12.38 a.m. in the, uh, in the morning. Hope you guys enjoy my video I made. I made, uh, earlier yesterday, obviously. So I applied for that job. Hopefully they call me back. If I don't get the job... If I don't get one of the jobs I applied for in the in in, in Quebec, I'm gonna I'm gonna see the office. I'm gonna go to the office this Thursday or Friday when I get my check. I'm gonna ask if they can raise my amount to like twelve hundred dollars a month. That way I can save like four hundred a month. If I make twelve hundred a month, I can easily save four hundred a paycheck and have eight hundred to blow for the month. Like, hey, can you can you give me twelve hundred a month? I need the money. Seven hundred is on. I'm gonna need more money. Yeah, I'm having a hard time finding jobs. You know, so I don't want to work in I don't want to work in Ottawa. It's too crowded over there. I have anxiety. I'm not used to keys. I have anxiety issues. You know, I'm not gonna tell them that, but I'm like, can you raise my amount? Right, we can raise your amount. Yeah, ask them. They can raise it for you, obviously. If they don't, then I'm gonna have to look for for another job, man. Perhaps a job in Ottawa. But I don't want to work in Ottawa. I don't want to drive like take like two buses to get to work and have like have like an hour ride. When I was working at Coors, it took me like an hour, an hour what? An hour plus to get to work, man. It was crazy. An hour and like 20 minutes to get home. It was crazy, man. When I was working at Coors. Zara? I'll make a good, I don't know, 50 minute video here, 45, 50 minute video. I'm going to shut this camera off. And I'll upload you guys over the show. Today I was able to clean the car and I got like, I got enough money to get my 25 pack of smoke, so I, I found a way to get money off my stepmother. And then tomorrow, I will wipe. Tomorrow, I offered to clean the rest of the car for another, like, $10, $11. I'll have smokes for today. My two for other did not come in today. Chances are it will come in around the end of the month, man. After I get my welfare check, I'll come in. Maybe on the 30th, on Monday. 30th? Monday is the 30th, right? I'll probably get it on the 30th or 31st. Probably not going to come in this week, my two dollars check, most likely. Or it might come in maybe the day I get my welfare check. It comes in. I don't know. See what happens, obviously. And John Caffey is doing his CinemaCon thing, which I'm going to watch later this week. When I get my check, I'll watch it. When I get my beer. This, uh... This, uh, what? This... Thursday or Friday, when I get my check, I'm going to get my beer and smokes early. And I'll watch John Campion's CinemaCon. I don't like watching John Campion live. I rather, I like watching him, like, pre-recorded. Um, I like watching after the video is uploaded. Because when it's live, you can't stop the video. You can't go back. You can't rewind things. That's why I like watching his video afterwards. I'll watch his CinemaCon preview for the movies that are coming up this year, obviously. It's nice to see Rob there. It's nice to see Rob with John, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, Rob's no longer working on John's show. Because John supposedly couldn't afford him. Well, he said he couldn't afford him, and now he says he can afford him. I don't know which is which, but, yeah. I made some coffee, so I'm going to go upstairs and grab a coffee for myself. Don't hate me. I'm going to go upstairs and grab a coffee, and I'm going to what? And hopefully I get this job. I I, I do. I really I want to work. Man. I don't want to be collecting checks. I want to work, so I can get used to the uh, to the keys more. I have to get used to these keys, man. And that's why I want to go out there, and, and and the buses are not packed anymore because of COVID. So not many people take buses that but that much buses anymore. A lot of people they drive because of COVID. Obviously, the bus is the worst place to be, especially with the COVID pandemic. It's the worst place to be in the bus. Where it's super, super crowded, obviously. But when I took the bus today, it wasn't crowded. There's was only like 15 people on the bus. It wasn't that crowded. And on my way to work, I was tripping like crazy for the interview. On my way back, I was fine. I was a bit more calm, obviously. And I know if I get this job, I can make a good like 700 bucks over two weeks. And I can save like 250 a paycheck, man. And 500 a month. By the end of the year, I'll save like four grand. 3.74 grand. I'll have enough money to edit my book. And I'll work probably for another year in 2024. 
I applied also to the British Hotel in Elmer. It's, the British Hotel is here in Elmer. I can literally walk through. I can either bus. It's quite a walk. It's like a set, I don't know, a 60 minute walk. 17 minute walk. It's quite a walk away, but it's not that far. There's a shortcut you can take, obviously, or you can take the bus, but the, the, you know, the bus is like a one minute bus ride, but you're wasting money if you take a bus. Why would you waste your money on bus tickets when you can, we can walk there? And for that restaurant, I can close till like two in the morning because I live in Elmer. I can, after work is done, I can just walk home. I'm sorry. That's more convenient for me, but it's seasonal, that one. Unless I can get them to have me work all year long, all year round, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, Sarah. So, hopefully, I get this job in uh, Portage uh, Hall, Quebec. That way, I can what? I can save money for my book and I can get my book edited, obviously. And what? I can get my book edited, obviously, and what? I can get my book edited, obviously, and what? And uh, 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 once my book's edited, I can get it copyrighted. I want to get it edited uh, around early 2024. I'll contact a company, contact individual to get my book edited. They'll probably give me a deal for two thousand dollars because my most of my books edited. I'll tell them, okay. The, the, the Southerns in my book are called Southerns. Do not call them Southerners. I want them to be called Southerns. Do not change that. The Northerns are called Northerns. Do not call Northerners. So I'm going to write down a note. Obviously. Do not change this. Um, do not change this, this, this wording. You have to note that. That way they know, obviously. Now, I mean, how much? Yeah, I added. I, my, my younger son brother added the prologue all the way down to the to the last couple pages of chapter 10. So all from the prologue all the way to the last couple pages of chapter 10, that has all been added. But I still want you going over the whole book for potential typos, spelling errors, that kind of stuff. You need to go over the whole thing. And the rest of the book is not edited. The rest of volume three is not edited. Okay, I right, we can give you a deal. We can give, because you added most of your book, we can give you a deal. It's not much, not much work for us. We only have to add like 200 pages, really. We can give you a deal for $1,800 or something like that. And I'll, okay, well, that's a good deal. I pay the hundred dollars and I get it. I get it nice, professionally edited. I don't know. Two months go by. I get the news. Ivan, your book's edited. You know what I'm saying? Your book's edited, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, really? Yeah, your book's edited, Ivan. I'm like, yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm all happy. You know what I'm saying? And I'll make, I'll make, I'll announce it on my channel. Obviously, my book is edited. So what I'll do is next year. The day, the day my book is added, obviously, the day I get my book added, I'll, I'll show my face one time for 2024. That way I can show you my book and also for my youngest brothers and I'll show you what my book looks like. Do that one video that I'm going to continue the series with listening to the, the, the black screen. I'll do everything I'm not going to do like that. So, Sarah. so even though I pieced out, obviously, even though I pieced out, obviously, I show my face, uh, there could be exceptions where I show my face maybe once. In like the one year, because I want, I want to show, I want to show you, I want to show you, uh, show you, show you my, my the video, my, my what my file looks like when it's all nicely edited. So I'm saying, you can think there's hope coming back. I'm not coming back, guys. I'm when I'm king, I'm gonna forget about Savage Channel. I'm piecing out. The only reason why now I'm pumping out videos for you is because I haven't seen, I, I haven't really seen your true demonic natures come come out. Once I find out how weird you are, I'm never gonna want to make videos for you ever again. When I once I find out, I have to have sex with my own stepmother. You know what I'm saying? And, and the members of my, like, family and VJ's step family. I got a diary and my wife. I have your porn, so I'm peacing out. I'm going to cry my eyes. I'll pay this week, I'm peacing out. And you guys make fun of my Sabados channel. You guys all tune in. You know what I'm saying? You all tune in and you act like I watch them. Yeah, I'm not going to do my that. I'm peacing out when I'm a king with my wife. So, Sarah. So, the Vincent Valentino interview will be postponed, guys, to next year. It will happen next year, 2024. Toward, I'll have enough... Because I now save money, I now have enough. I can pay him more money. I can pay Vincent maybe four hundred dollars now. Um, so if I get like a six hundred dollar page, seven hundred page, I can pay him four hundred. Obviously, I'll pay you four hundred dollars, Vincent. To what? Four hundred is too much. Pay him three fifty. I can pay you three fifty, Vincent, to interview me about my book. And you can film it with your professional camera, or if you, or if it costs too much money. Uh, I, I can rent the camera for two hours. 
find a company to rent a professional camera for two hours. It'll cost me, and it won't cost me that much. Or I can just use my phone. I can use my phone for the interview if you want. But my, hey, Vincent, do you have a camera stand? Yeah, I have a camera stand. Okay, I'll put my phone on the camera stand. You can interview, you can interview on my phone. It saves money. Or you can use your camera. How much would it cost to film a, like a two-hour interview? I mean, it won't cost that much. Three fifty dollars is a good deal item for like a two-hour interview. Yeah. And after I do the interview with Vincent, the world's excited. I'll take him out to a nice dinner. In Ottawa, I'll have a nice beer with him at a bar restaurant, and then I'll have a I'll have a nice dinner with him. Good sir. Yeah. And if it doesn't happen, then the interview doesn't happen, obviously. If, it, if, if he's not interested, it doesn't happen, obviously. Sarah? In a few minutes, I'm going to go upstairs and get my coffee. I'm going to go upstairs and get my coffee. My coffee. My coffee. And tomorrow, today I have enough, I'm, I'll have some notes for myself. Cause I'm gonna clean the car, the back of the car, put all the stuff in the garage. It's filled with stuff. I gotta put the stuff in the garage. I gotta sweep it. I gotta clean it, polish it up. You know what I'm saying? I clean. I did a thorough cleaning in the car, and she gave me like twelve dollars. I had like a dollar in my bank, and I had enough to get myself twenty five dollars. Well, tomorrow I'll probably have enough for a twenty five or a twenty five today, right? Yeah, and hopefully the people respond. And I get the job. I need money, man. It sucks. The one thing I don't like about Welfare Quebec is I have every time I get paid, I have to make sure I have enough money for the whole month. I have to wait a whole like thirty days for my next check, which is a long time. Waiting thirty days is a long time. Whereas when you work, you get your checks every every second week, man. You get your checks. See what I'm saying? I get to talk to people. I want to get more comfortable around women. Also, if I have to learn to, to work, get out there and talk to people, go to the bar, talk to talk to people. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously, which I will. Once I start work, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start going to uh more. I'm gonna start going to the Elmer Bar. Um, and start talk talk to more people. Talk to bartenders all so that way I get more comfortable. I prep myself when I'm with VJ. Obviously, oh yeah, I'm not shy when I'm around VJ, but I won't be shy when I'm around VJ because I I'm, I I was an ex porn star. I'm no longer this shy either. When I, once I see VJ, so I just bang like out with fifteen hundred women. <laughs> I'm no longer the square shy Ivan. I'm a different Ivan, obviously. Is that right? And I'll save my money. Well, I should pay the fee, Victoria Justice. I'm saying, I know you're waiting. Cross my fingers. 2025 should be the year I pay the fee. I'll let my step parents know early 2025. So we, you have about two years left. We're already, we're already a quarter into 2023. So you have about a year and like eight months of Ivan O'Mara on, on this side of this channel. I'm gonna let my step parents know. And once I find out once your mafia two cars come out, I'm take I'm gonna cry my eyes, I'll pay this fee and save my wife. Um, when I carve that I'm taking more of a piece off of this and left behind. You're not safe. I'm sorry. You're not safe, obviously. Then once I make that money, I'm gonna visit that very restaurant that they hired me, right? Hey guys, what's up? He said, hey Ivan, how's it going? It's going good. And I said, they all know, yeah, Ivan got paid. Ivan got his fat chair out. It was $12 million. He got paid. Ivan got paid. And I said, yeah. Well, Ivan has enough money to buy this restaurant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to go to Amigos Bar in Ottawa. I have good memories of Amigos Bar. Now, Amigos Bar is an amazing bar. I recommend all you guys in Ottawa. You check out Amigos Bar in Maryville. In Maryville, yeah, they're, they're a good bar there, man. I, I used to go there a lot after work. I go to Amigos Bar and I have a beer there. One time I stayed there till like eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock. You know, I said I was pretty drunk. I had like three pitchers. And I was pretty drunk. It's a good bar over there, man. Amigos Bar. Yeah. It's a good bar, Amigos Bar. I recommend you guys in Ottawa check it out. All you guys in Quebec who go to Ottawa, I recommend you check out Amigos Bar. Just go on Google Amigos Bar, you'll find it. It's in Maryville. It's on Maryville. It's a good bar over there. I'm gonna go there. That's that's the place, the one place oh, I'm gonna visit. I'm gonna go to Amigos Bar. I have good memories. I'm gonna take a cab there and have a beer there. 
And I'm going to go to the, if I get the job at the restaurant, I'll go to that restaurant and say hi. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have a, have a beer there. Have a, eat a meal there, have a wine. You have wine there and beer. Chill there for a bit, have a good time at the bar. Okay, well, take care, guys. Yeah, Ivan, thanks. Take, thanks, man. Take care. And I'm going to feel like shit. Look at Ivan now. He's about to come to me. He's about to see his wife. He made his billions. We got to work our asses off for what? 30K, 40K a year, man. And Ivan made his easy $12 million. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not going to talk about the process of me seeing VJ. I already said that in my last video. I want to talk about, about Zaynus here. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about Zaynus. And now that I made my $12 million, or even 20 I don't know how much I'm going to make. If I make 20 or 12 whatever it is, let's say I make 12 I'm being humble here. I now have enough money to fund my movie and start my film studio. Some Zara. Better and bigger than all the Hollywood companies. Guys, I'm not kidding around, though. You're looking at a company better than Disney, Warner Bros., Paramount. Everything in my company is high-tech, fine, like Incredibles, man. Go watch Incredibles 1 and 2. You know what? They, 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 it's high-tech. Yes. Things I'm after my company. A high-tech jet with a GPS. Please comfort yourselves. You know what I'm saying? Grab a drink in the, in the fridge. You can have, put a GPS in your jet. Yeah. Holy shit. I was talking about this. Yeah. High, uh, beautiful property of land. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I wanted to look at that ground missile picture I showed you. Yeah. Something beautiful like that. High-tech office. High-tech special unit building. I have a game studio, a game studio building, my nice docking area where I park my yacht, like those pictures I showed you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I, will you buy two yachts? No, I'm only going to buy one. One's enough. I can buy maybe one yacht and maybe like a small boat. But I'm not comfortable going out in a small boat in the ocean. I want, I want a big yacht. You could have a small little, I could buy like a small little one Jumina yacht if you want that fits like two people in there if you want. But I mean, I'm going to build the big yacht. Uh, sorry, the, um, I want to buy the big yacht. I'll just buy one yacht, it's enough. One like 60 million yacht I'll buy. Obviously. And Zanes, I'll fund for a billion to uh, 1.2 billion dollars. That's where I'm looking at the biggest budget movie ever made. Bigger than uh, The Hobbit. I believe The Hobbit... Pirates of the Caribbean are the two most expensive movies ever made. Hobbit was made for six forty five million, around there. Uh, uh, Avatar is also one of the most expensive ever made. Avatar: Way of the Water was made for three fifty million dollars to four hundred million dollars. So Avatar, The Hobbit, and Pirates of the Caribbean's World End are like the three most expensive movies ever made. Yeah, my movie will blow those movies out of the water because I'm making for a billion two hundred million dollars, one point two billion dollar budget movie, man. Yeah, and that's enough. I'm not putting more money towards that's crazy. That's more than enough money. More too too much money, I'm saying. So my move will be unheard of technology. Four ten towards salaries. Oh, you pay your cast a rich contract, your crew in a rich contract, and your seventeen a rich contract. Your pilots get paid. Your medical team gets paid, I'm saying. Your team gets paid, the actors get paid. The Hollywood, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit crewmen have uh, get paid. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put ten million towards the doc. So look at an independent movie documentary with like independent cameras. He has a hot on her. Revolution technology for the doc. Revolution technology for the movie. Revolution technology for the game. Seven to eight towards the movie. The fun I already do with the movie. All the main things I already mentioned this many times in my past videos. And four sixty million towards the Unreal Engine five. I'm going to put Unreal Engine 5 technology into my Xenus game. That's why the characters in the game are going to look so real. Because Unreal Engine 5. Go watch The Matrix Awakens down together and do what I'm talking about. Unreal Engine 5 technology. Yeah, it's going to be top notch. Razzik Ivan, you're, Razzik Ivan, you're making a game for four million dollars. You're putting Unreal Engine 5 technology into Xenus game. I went, like, yeah, he's like, holy shit. That's a lot of money. I can't wait to play this. Yeah, it's an amazing game for that. Yeah. Give me a sec, guys. I'm going to go upstairs and get my coffee. Don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go. I'm drinking water right now. I'm going to go upstairs and get my coffee real quick, and I'll be back in a sec. Seriously, we don't, don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? I'll be back in a sec. 
Skip the damn video if you don't want to wait. Alrighty, I'm back. I'm back. You only waited for, I don't know, three minutes. I want to say to, 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 to get my fresh cup of coffee. Yeah, you look at something I heard of my movie, man, at my game. Signed so Brad to his uh, six $40,000 deal for the game. That's a good deal for him. And he gets a $2,000 gift card. Um, I'll give all the people who worked on my game a $2,000 gift card too. Considering I'm not paying them as much, give them a $2,000 gift card through the budget. And I'll give Rabbi a $2,000 gift card and a, a 3500 gas card. I won't give the, um, the game guys a 3500 gas card, but I'll give Rad a 3500 gas card because he's my walkthrough guy. No, I don't have to give Rad a 3500 gas card, but I'll give him a $2,000 gift card. That's good enough for Brad. And it's just, he gets his six forty thousand dollars for the walk. That's a good deal. He's my walkthrough star, right? For my for my company, my game company. Pay him a lot of money. Make sure he gets paid, obviously. So I'm sorry. And my top two candidates for directing position is Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson and Mill Gibson. Those are my top two candidates. For the uh for the movie, obviously. The question is, I don't know who I'm going to choose, man. I don't know who I'm going to choose. That's the question. Somebody tells me Mel's the right man, but somebody, somebody else tells me Peter's the right man. I don't know, man. It's tough to choose between the two, man. 
Even though I think Mel's the right man, Peter is a fantasy guy. That's why he he, he bring my he's gonna, he's gonna bring my world to life, man. He brought Lord of the World Lord of the Rings to life. Before before Lord of the Rings, the Lord of the Rings movies came out, you didn't picture the World of the Rings like that. And Peter brought that world to life. Hobbiton, the Shire, the you know I'm Zen, Minas Tirith, Gondor, and I'm Zen, Osgiliath, Gondor, Rivendell, I'm Zen, Mordor. The orcs brought that all to life. That's why he's really, really good for my movie. It's tough, obviously. Peter, I'll pay him his 85 million base. For the uh, for the movie, that's a good deal for him. I'm not Peter, man. I'm not going to hire him. I'm take. I'm paying you out of my pocket. I already blew enough of my money. I'm not paying any more than eighty-five million dollars. You don't even make this in Hollywood. You make your twenty-five million in Hollywood. That's your base salary for for the four years of work. You're gonna walk away with about sixty million in your back out of taxes. It's like a hundred, like I don't know, five million, one and one, ten million. Use own money. It's a massive contract for Peter. You know what I'm saying? I'll give him four for $50 million of the box office receipts and $80 million of the merch receipts. So you signed a five eighty million million deal, which is a six ninety million million deal in New Zealand money. So Peter signed almost a $700 million deal. I'm sorry. He signed a, almost a $700 million deal. Six ninety million million deal is massive, obviously. I'm sorry. If Peter is super, super greedy and he wants that 700, you could give him 85 million in, in merch if you want at 420 for the, for the, for the, for the enrolled. Because if you want that way, he gets the 700. Million. I'm not going to do that. What I'm paying him is enough. You sign a 690 million dollar deal, Peter, in your, in your New Zealand money. 580 in Canadian is 690 million in New Zealand money. And you sign almost a 700 million dollar a lot of money. You're being greedy. But he wants more. I want more. I, mean, I want an 800 million dollar deal, 900 million dollar deal. I'm like, no, Peter, I'm not going to pay that. You're fucking greedy. You're a greedy pig. <laughs> <laughs> He's a greedy animal, I'm saying. He is a greedy animal. Peter, this is double what you more than double what you made for the Rings. Yeah, Ivan, it's a massive contract. Yes. His age, that's, that's a good deal for Peter, Ivan. Isn't we make this in Hollywood? Whatever we make this in Hollywood. Yeah, it's a good deal for Peter. Age is going to make like $40 million off Peter, man. Yeah, man. Massive deal for Peter and his agent. Aiden's going to make like 40 million, 38 million bucks off Peter. A lot of money for the agent, obviously. That's a good deal, Ivan. Ivan, what about the game? No, Peter's not getting squad off the game. He's, he's not involved in my game. Why would I give him money for the game? No, it says, hey, so Ivan, what about the game? Is Peter, can Peter get a nice like $25 million out? I'm like, no. I'm not giving him a squad off the game. And Mel, I'll give, I'll pay him $56 million base. For the four things, I'm not going to hire him that for Mel. And I'll give him uh, 170. One, I can even pay, give him 180. I can give Mel 180. He's more happy. Give Mel 180 million dollars in, 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 uh, for, 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 for the box office receipts. So he signed like a two season deal. He makes a bit more money. And you can give him 25 million dollars of the merch receipts. And he gets his 56 million base. That's my deal for Mel. That's a good deal for him. I'll give, I'll pay a bit more, one eighty million dollars of the box office receipts. It's a good deal for Mel Gibson. So Mel Gibson signed about a two hundred, I don't know, five million dollar deal, whatever it is, in American money. He lives in America, about a two hundred million deal in American money. It's a good deal for him. Walk away like a hundred, like five million is back after taxes as agents. It's a good deal for people for for Mel Gibson, obviously. The question is, who am I going to choose? That's the question, man. Who's better for the job, Mel or Peter? I don't know. That's why you gotta test Peter and Mel's uh, creativity. Who's better? Who has a who? Uh, who has a better? Mel's like, yeah, I, I see the self as like a different realm. It's like cursed. It's kind of like hell. You know what I'm saying, like completely cursed. No, not completely cursed. I mean, it has beauty, but like it's a different realm. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking something like that too. It's a different realm. Peter will say the same thing too. Yeah, I mean, Barack. I'm thinking something like hell, man. They're all devils and demons. They all live there. Yeah, like like what you got for Fellowship's Ring with all those orcs. Those demon-looking orcs in, in, in Lord of the Rings, when they were digging up the orcs and then forging the weapons, and you saw the boss orc come out of the mud. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's picture somebody like that for Barak. They're all demons. Except three times scarier than what you saw from Fellowship of the Ring. I remember when I saw the Fellowship of the Ring, that freaked me out as a 10-year-old kid. When I saw how the years of 10 years, it was all scary. But now it's not that scary, obviously.
Now it's not that scary. Not that scary, Samsara. Now it's not that scary. Now it's not that scary. Oh, it's because I'm older now. I remember when I was a kid, Lord of the Rings would freak me out, man. And it wasn't until I hit like 14, 15 that I, I, Lord of the Rings was no longer scary anymore to me. When I watched it, when I was a tiny little kid, I was freaky, man. I was scary. Those orcs were fucking scary. Yeah, man. I fell for Aragorn like crazy, yeah. Because before I saw Fellowship Ring, I never saw any horror movies before. I never watched a horror movie in my life. It was all brand new to me. That's why when I saw Lord of the Rings the first time, it was so scary on theaters. And I had never been so hooked watching a movie, and I was completely hooked watching it. I'm like, this is sick. This is the best movie experience of my life. Yeah. And second was Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith was an amazing experience on theaters. Yeah. I was your third best experience at theaters? Um, That's tough. I remember when I saw Dunkirk. I was fucking hooked watching. That was a that was a sick movie on theaters. Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk. That was an, that was an that was probably my third best experience at theaters. Dunkirk and a movie called with Leonardo DiCaprio, The Revenant. I remember when I saw that, I was hooked. Shrek Two. I remember when I saw Shrek Two, I was hooked. Days After Tomorrow, I was also pretty hooked too. Watching, that. I remember watching all those movies on theaters. Yeah. Obviously, I don't really have a third, but my 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 top two best experiences were Revenge of the Sith. And, uh, and Lord of the Rings. Those are my two best movie experience. Third, I, uh, it's debatable. I mean, Days After Tomorrow, I, Shrek 2, I was hooked watching that. I remember seeing that on theaters. Um, Dunkirk, I was hooked watching that, man. That was a sick movie when I saw it on theaters. I remember I saw it in 2016 on theaters. I got my popcorn. And I watched Dunkirk from, 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 from the beginning of the movie to the end. I was completely hooked. This movie sick. Yeah, but yeah, the guy who made this is definitely the Batman guy. Yeah, it has that same vibe, like Batman. Yeah, Christopher Nolan. Yeah, that was an amazing movie, Dunkirk. Man, that was a really good movie. The Germans and the Brits, right? The war and Dunkirk. Yeah, based off true events that happened in history. Obviously, the Germans and the Brits, I believe, right? Yeah, the Germans versus the Brits. Yeah. I might be mistaken there, yeah. So, this is the real question. Who is better for the job, Peter or Mel Gibson? I don't know, guys. Shut my cam off here. 